welcome again to our broadcast uh, we have a blessed day today and I believe we are all blessed the Lord has given us a wonderful day and uh, we are going to read together from the book of Mark chapter number 15 verse number 1 to verse number 5 and I read very early in the morning the chief priests and the elders the teachers of the law and the whole Sanhedrin made their plans so they bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him, and handed him over to Pilate. Are you the king of the Jews? Asked Pilate. You have said so, Jesus replied. The chief priests accused him of many things. So again, Pilate asked him, Aren't you going to answer? See how many things they are accusing you of. But Jesus still made no reply, and Pilate was amazed. Now this is uh, during the trial of Jesus. We see uh, that all these church leaders, church leaders, I want you to mark these are church leaders. They were the leaders of the Jews, teachers of the law, uh, uh, the Sanhedrin, um, the chief priests. These were godly people. They were supposed to be godly people. That they are the ones who arrested Jesus and they brought him before the king. Pontius Pilate. They brought him. The Bible says, and they accused him of many things. Many things. We, but they are not being specified here. But as the king says, are you not going to answer? See how many things they have accused you of. The only question that Jesus answered was, are you the king of the Jews? He said, yes. There was no question about that. He was a king. He came as a king. No question about that. But all the other accusations that they had against him, he did not answer. Now I want us to learn just a simple lesson here from um, this episode and from the reactions of Jesus, from Jesus' response. He was accused of many things, and we know for sure these were false accusations. But Jesus did not spend his time to defend himself. He did not spend time to defend himself. The king, Pontius Pilate, asks him, Are you not going to defend yourself? Are you not going to answer? But he says nothing. I want to tell you, you have to choose your battles. You have to choose your battles. That's my message for you today. And here Jesus is asked two questions. Number one, are you the king of the Jews? He says, yes, you have said so. But the other accusations that have all been brought up against him, he stays quiet. Now we live at a time when uh, we get accused of so many things, especially when you're a Christian, especially when you're a believer. Time after time, you will be accused of things. Sometimes things that you have done, rightfully so, but many other times of things that you have not done, of things that you have no idea, or things that you feel are very unfair. But I want to teach you something from the life of Jesus. You must learn how to choose your battles. You don't have to defend yourself every time an accusation is thrown your way. Choose your battles. You know? Choose your battles. It's not every accusation needs to be defended against. You don't have to prove how right you are. You don't have to prove how holy you are. Because most of the times when we defend ourselves, we want, we want to clean our name, and to avoid and prevent our name from being uh, tarnished. Let me tell you, Jesus, he had all those accusations. He was there. This was a trial. He was about to be crucified, to be killed. His words, his defense would, 
would clear him, would, would, would shed more light whether he would be crucified or not. But what does he do? He stays quiet. He chooses what to defend himself against. He does not defend himself. It's up to us now as Christians. And as I said, there are many things in our lives that we will, we will be accused of. Many things. Things that we do. Some, sometimes things that we do not do. Sometimes things that we know. Others that we do not know. But we will definitely be accused of things from time to time. You've got to choose and learn how to choose your battles. It is not every accusation that you have to defend yourself against. Just like Jesus, your name may be tarnished. You may have a bad reputation. That doesn't mean that you go defending yourself against every little thing. Learn from Jesus. He chose his battles. And he chose them well. He had the right to defend himself. He had the right. These were false accusations. But he did not. He chose not to. And I'm not saying that you don't defend yourself. I'm saying that you have to know and to learn how to know how to choose your battles. If we go to the book of Acts, we saw at one time, at one point, Paul himself had to defend himself in front of King Agrippa. He gave his defense. But look at his defense. His defense was geared to preaching the word. The epitome of his uh, testimony of his defense was not only uh, for, for himself, but for others to know. And we see when Paul defends himself, he is retelling the Christian story, how he came to know this Jesus, so that this Jesus, this Jesus may be well known to others. And actually in, in the climax, the climax of his defense is, do you believe in the prophecy or the prophets or the words of the prophets in the Old Testament? Do you believe in them, King Agrippa? Paul turns his defense to the message of the gospel. And that's one thing that we can do. He changes his defense to preach the word, to let Jesus know, be known. Preaching to the king who was, who was uh, uh, trying him in his defense. Choose your battles. Learn how to choose your battles. We are not called to defend ourselves. But we are called to preach the gospel. We are called to, to know Christ and make him known. To as many people as we can. To be his witnesses. To preach the gospel to every creature. To make disciples. That's what we are called to do. To teach others. Learn to choose your battles. You don't have to defend yourself against every accusation that you get. That you receive. May the Lord help you. And may he enable you to know which battles you have to fight. Which accusations you can defend yourself against. We have the example of Jesus here. We also looked at the example of Paul. Choose your battles and of which ones you can stand up against and which ones you should not. Thank you and God bless you. Until tomorrow.